Hi, my name's Ben and I'm a London Early Years Foundation teacher. Um, today I want to share with you the potential of newspapers. They're often something that we have laying around in our home and we don't usually realise the fantastic resource that they are. Today I'm going to share with you some of the ways that the Leaf teachers would use this resource to create fantastic learning opportunities for your children. Okay, so we're going to start with babies, something that all babies absolutely love, or well, most of the ones that I've met, is the game Peekaboo. Now, we often don't understand just how important a game like Peekaboo is for children's uh, brain development. So Peekaboo is a really good way for babies to start to appreciate that um, their reaction can lead to another reaction, and that idea of serve and return, and that idea of early communication, that one person can interact with another person, and it can have a certain effect. And children absolutely love it. So I highly recommend... Pika, wait for it, boom. Okay, another great activity to use newspapers for is for when children are developing and are displaying certain schemas. Schemas such as enveloping, where your young child might enjoy wrapping things. You might observe them uh, folding things in blankets and towels and fabrics and paper. Another one is trajectory, where children often like to throw things. And sometimes we can see that as negative behavior, but it's actually they're scratching an itch in their brain to explore a concept. So. Feel free to give your children sheets of newspaper and objects and let them explore wrapping it, rolling it, twisting it, folding it and wrapping up everyday objects. Is if your children like to do trajectory, the good thing about if they throw newspaper, it tends not to damage any of your property or hurt. And then you can explore throwing small balls, larger balls, Babies also love to unwrap, so you can give them things in newspaper that they've maybe seen lots of times before, but suddenly it's a bit more interesting because they want to find out what's inside it. And they're learning that concept of object permanence, so just because they can no longer see something doesn't mean it's no longer there. What on earth is... You're not going to move it. It's a remote! <laughs> Another thing that your children might love, especially toddler age and preschool, is using cars and trains and using tracks but sometimes they can get slightly bored with the same tracks and things. So again, we need some scissors, and with your children, you can cut the newspaper, quite simply, into long, thin strips, which the children can use for roads or train tracks. You can then cut corner tracks, uh, straight pieces of track, T-junctions, so they can make their roads connect. Oh, left turn, right turn, ooh, T-junction, no. Round the chicane, dead end. There he is. With older children, they might want to use scissors and do some folding, and you could teach them how to make concertinas. So to do that, you just cut two strips, about the same width. Like so, open them up. And you lay them at a right angle, so that their ends overlap like this, and then you just take turns to fold this one over the top, and this one over the top. Eighteen, eighteen, and when you're finished, it should, hopefully, make a concertina, which is a great spring. Lots of leaf children love drawing, so you could give them an art activity where you look through the newspaper for a portrait of somebody's face. Sorry, the only one I can find is Boris. And then, sorry about this Boris. What you do is you cut the face in half. Straight up the middle. Oh, I'm sorry Boris. And then you stick one half of the face onto the page and you get the child to try and draw the other side of the face. So they have to copy the shape of the head, the chin, how wide the mouth is. So this is a great activity because it's teaching children about all the features of the face. It makes them think about the proportion in terms of sizes compared to each other, the location and the position within the face. Oh dear. Another great activity you can do with newspaper is origami. The newspaper has to be thin, so it's quite perfect for that. And to start with, you need to teach your children how to turn a rectangle sheet into a square because most of the origami instructions that you might find on the internet usually start with a perfect square of paper. And then once you've given the children those, they can just follow instructions to make something specific or get folding and create their own, like these hearts. It's important that children know how to use one-handed tools, and so scissors are great for that. 
And this activity is really simple. All you do is you cut your strip of newspaper into a rectangle and you fold it over to the left, then back to the right, into a big zigzag like this. And then with a pen, you can draw a little person. Then we take our scissors. There's my person. It's not very good. And we cut in from the left. And then hopefully, if this works, you can open it up and you've made a whole chain of little people. And then that's great because you can do counting with the children, you can decorate them, you can get the paints out, you can make a decoration for their room. A lot of the older children are gonna be really interested in print and looking for sounds and certain letters. They might better find the first letter of their names. So for example, ah, oh, there's an A, it's a capital A. Oh, there's a different A, it's a small A. Oh, can we find an A? Yeah, and they've got, maybe set them a minute. How many A's can they find on a page? And then you can challenge them and you could do a different letter. Another thing for children are slightly older or they might be learning some of their key words, such as the. So they could use that as a reference to see if they can find that word within the page. Uh, oh, there's one, the. Another popular activity for children is dressing up. But if you put on a pre-made costume, you're missing out on a great opportunity to develop the children's creativity. For example, you can give them just newspaper and get them to make all sorts of outfits for themselves. They could, and make a superhero headband. Or maybe they're gonna wear a tie because just like mummy and daddy, they're gonna be working from home today. Or they could make a princess dress or a dragon's outfit. Possibilities are endless. Because your children may be inside for quite a long period of the day, it's to keep them active. So you could play a game like Baby Shark, where you lay your newspaper sheets on the floor to be islands in the sea, and you get your children to be swimmers, and they have to swim around the room as fast as they can, avoiding the islands. And if you want, you can even play some music to this. Sorry. Swim, 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 swim. Around the islands. And they might jump up and down. They might skip. They might be running. And as soon as the music stops, they have to quickly find an island to make sure they're safe. I hope you and your children have some fun exploring newspapers. Um, I'm going to have baby sharks stuck in my head for the rest of the day. But I better get on and clear up all this mess. The good news is it all goes in the recycling.